Coming up on Hands on Tech, if you thought you had to wait for Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4, well, you were wrong. CalDigit has you covered. This is Twit. This episode of Hands on Tech is brought to you by SanDisk's Data Storage Solutions. SanDisk offers the best solutions for backing up and transferring your data. And for a limited time, you can get 15% off your first order of these SanDisk products, but only when you go to sandisk.com slash hot. Folks, I am back with another product from CalDigit. I am super pumped to say that CalDigit is among the first to offer a Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 device. This is the CalDigit Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 Element Hub, and it is pretty doggone magical. You've got four USB 4 type ports, three Thunderbolt ports with one on the side for plugging into your computer and CalDigit's customary uh, powering for the unit. So that way you can get power out from this device. Now, of course, to take advantage of the Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 functionality, you need to have a Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 device. If you don't, though, you can still use the magic that is this dock uh, with a Thunderbolt 3, USB 3, um, with USB-C type connectors uh, device like my MacBook Pro. So when I plug this in, I can still use the ports that are on it, just not at those Thunderbolt 4, USB 4 type uh, speeds. So what kind of speeds can you get? Uh, can you expect from the CalDigit Element Hub? Well, with the USB type A ports on the side, these are USB A 3.2 Gen 2, which all of that confusing naming basically means that you can expect 10 gigs a second from these ports and 1.5 amp, which is 7.5 watt charging out of each of these. Uh, the computer side, which is the one that you plug in, the USB Type-C that you plug into the computer, um, that has upstream speeds of 40 gigs per second and will give you up to 60 watts of charging for the device that's plugged into it. On the back side or the front side, depending on how you're looking at it, you've got those three Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 uh, downstream ports. And whereas the front with USB-A 3.2 Gen 2, you got 10 gigs, those ports will get you 40 gigs a second. And these offer 3 amp, 15 watt charging out of every single one of these uh, Thunderbolt 4 ports. So you can really count on a lot of power pushing out of this tiny little device. And here's the thing. As a person who does not have a Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 uh, device, you might think, you know, what is the purpose of having this uh, CalDigit Element Hub? Well, I can plug this into not only my MacBook Pro directly, but my CalDigit TS3 Plus, which is the uh, docking station I talked about in the past. I can plug this in there and make use of all of the ports on this hub so i can expand the amount of ports i have of both thunderbolt and usb type a connected uh, usb a 3.2 gen 2 ports that are available here so i get so many more options for plugging in my devices for charging them um, and for taking advantage of them on my computer as for what comes in the box, CalDigit keeps it simple. You keep, you get everything that you need in there. Uh, CalDigit's Thunderbolt 4 Element Hub, and also uh, two little silicone legs that you can put on the bottom of the device. Your power brick, so that you can actually make use of the charging and everything that's there, as well as, and this is my favorite thing, a nice Thunderbolt 4 cable. That's right, a Thunderbolt 4 cable that is backward compatible with Thunderbolt 3 and of course also USB uh, C in 4 and in 3. So you've got kind of all of the options there backward compatible with all types of USB C and Thunderbolt 
connectivity over the USB Type-C connector. CalDigit offers the Thunderbolt 4 Element Hub for $180, which is actually less expensive than the TS3 Plus, that Thunderbolt Station 3 Plus that I talked about before. Uh, currently on back order, it is a very popular product as people are getting excited about uh, the Thunderbolt 4 Element Hub and just Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 in general. Um, but with it, you know, it's not a a docking station like you get with the TS3 Plus. This is a, uh, an, a way to expand your current device that you have or to just have four USB type A and three extra Thunderbolt uh, ports on your device. Uh, but one of the, the main things, one of the most interesting things about this and the reason why I think that uh, this product is a unique opportunity for anybody who's after uh, a way to expand upon um, what they already have or to you know start with their first dock is that with these eight ports, uh, you can drive two 4K 60 Hertz displays. You can drive one 8K display, but it also is an excellent way to charge multiple devices. So if you want to charge a bunch of different devices over USB type C with, with USB type C connectors and a bunch of devices over USB type A, then this is a great way to go about doing that. Um, in fact, CalDigit has this excellent guide showing that this is a this is a charger that can charge uh, one, two, three, four, five watt devices, uh, three 18 watt devices, and a 60 watt device all at once. So you can charge your Apple Watch, your AirPods, your iPhone SE, your iPhone. Uh, it, you can plug in a MagSafe charger to charge a newer iPhone. You can charge uh, one of the latest iPhones directly, uh, some AirPods Max, and an iPad Pro or iPad Air over 60 watts. All of those at once plugged into this thing. So if you're looking for a way to kind of dock uh, to, to charge your, you know, your whole family's devices, this is a great thing that can do that. Uh, another thing that's kind of unique is that um, most folks might not know that Apple's super drive, that is the uh, CD disk drive that you can plug um, into computers, a lot of times it has to be plugged directly into the computer because it needs enough power. Many docks won't power it enough. Well, CalDigit worked closely to make sure that this can work with Apple's super drive. Pretty cool and unique uh, feature that's available there. Plus, CalDigit itself talks about how this is a great extension of the uh, th the TS3 Plus dock that I talked about before, so that even on non-Thunderbolt and USB 4 type hosts, such as USB-C computers, uh, you can daisy chain USB-C devices on it. Um, and then, of course, in order to daisy chain those Thunderbolt devices, you do have to have a Thunderbolt or a Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4 connection to do that. But outside of that, this tiny little dock. This tiny little dock is so fantastic for providing so many extra ports for your computer. So if you're looking for a way to charge a bunch of devices at once at top speeds or a way to connect uh, two 60 hertz displays at one time at 4K or uh, a way to uh, connect a, a an 8K display, all of those things are possible with this hub from CalDigit. CalDigit makes some really incredible products, and the CalDigit Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 Element Hub is only the latest of what they have to offer. This episode of Hands On Tech is brought to you by SanDisk. If you're like many people, you probably know the difficulty of backing up or transferring your data from one device to another. Thankfully, you don't need to worry about that anymore. Now you can get SanDisk's two-in-one flash drives. They're the perfect way to back up and transfer your files to other devices. The Ultra Dual Drive Lux is a two-in-one flash drive with a reversible USB Type-C and a traditional 
additional type A connector. You can seamlessly move content between USB type C smartphone, tablets and Macs and USB type A computers. Enable the automatic backup to store files once you plug in the drive and high performance USB 3.1 Gen 1 will make sure you're covered with 150 megabytes per second of read speeds. It's compatible with most Android devices and it has an all metal dual purpose swivel design. It's available from 32 gigabytes up to one terabyte of storage. Plus, there's the iExpand Flash Drive Lux, a two-in-one flash drive with Lightning and USB Type-C connectors. Seamlessly move content between iPhone, iPad Pro, and USB Type-C devices, including Android phones. Once it's plugged in, it automatically starts backing up your info. You can password protect your files, and it has a stylish, all-metal, dual-purpose swivel design. It's available from 64 gigabytes all the way up to 256 gigabytes of storage. No matter what device you have, SanDisk has something for you. Both two-in-one flash drives make it easy to transfer your files to all your devices and free up valuable space. Super easy to use. I just plug it in. It automatically starts backing things up. And that way I can move them seamlessly between all the different devices that I have. It's a great gift for someone who's ever complained about storage on their iOS device. Seriously, SanDisk offers the best solutions for backing up and transferring your data. And for a limited time, you can get 15% off your first order of these SanDisk products, but only when you go to SanDisk.com slash hot. That's S-A-N-D-I-S-K dot com slash H-O-T. Thanks so much to SanDisk for sponsoring this week's episode of Hands on Tech. Thanks so much for checking out another episode of Hands on Tech. Of course, you can check out my shows here on Twit, including iOS Today, Smart Tech Today, and Tech News Weekly. Until next time, I've been Micah Sargent, and this has been Hands on Tech. Keep up with all the hottest tech news and gadgets. Visit twit.tv. There you'll be able to find and subscribe to all our tech shows. Thanks for watching Hands on Tech.